Question 24. John has an empty box. He puts some red counters and some blue counters into the box. The ratio of the number of red counters to the number of blue counters is 1 to 4. Linda takes at random two counters from the box, and the probability that she takes those counters is 6 over 155. Uh, it takes two red counters, it's 6 over 155. How many red counters did John put into the box? We've got the ratio here, but we don't know the actual total number in the box. Normally, we try and use some information to find the total. But in this case, we're just going to have to multiply by some unknown number, x, and say that the total is in the ratio x to 4x. We can calculate a total of 5x there. We can use that for our calculations going forward. The probability that Linda takes the first red is simple. That's 1. One red out of the total of five. The second red, where we've removed one counter already, one red counter already, so that's going to be the number of red counters, x, subtract one, divided by the total number of counters, 5x, subtract the one red counter that was already taken. Now to calculate the overall probability of both of these reds being taken, we multiply this by this to get this answer here. So, the fifth times x minus 1 over 5, x minus 1, is 6 over 155. Now, let's multiply by 5 here. So we should get x minus 1 over 25, x minus 1 is 6 over 155. Now, let's multiply by this side of the fraction and by this side of the fraction. So it gives us 155 minus 1, 6 times 25 minus 1. Now let's expand. It gives us 155 x minus 155 is 6 times 25x, which is 150, x minus 6. Let's collect terms on both sides. So 155x minus 150, that's 5x. And minus 6, add 155. Sorry, this should be 5 there. So that would be minus 30. 5x equals 125. So x is 125 divided by 5. 25. 